The future of building websites is with AI, and a lot of page builders have now implemented AI into their tools. But the challenge is the AI implementation is not that good. In today's video, I want to show you a process of building a complete website with AI from start to finish. The tool I'm going to show you today is by far the most advanced in terms of building your WordPress websites with AI. So I want to show you step by step how you can achieve this. So let's dive in and let me show you how to build a WordPress website with AI. So I'm here on ZipWP. Now, I already have an account. Now, if you don't have one, you can come over here and sign up. The link to that is also in the video description below. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is to just log in. So to create our website with AI, we need to come over here to custom site with AI. And we need to give our site a name. So I'm gonna call this Mac Marketing. And then over here, we need to give the business description. This is going to help the AI come up with all our copy for our website. So this part is very, very important. Okay, so here's my short description. So I haven't gone really in detail to give this a lot of information, but this should be sufficient enough for the AI to generate its content. So take a look here now. If I click on improve using AI, you're going to notice now that it's going to generate all the copy for us, saving us a lot of time. So I think this summary is actually very good. There's nothing I can add here, but if I do want to add anything, I can just go in here and start typing as well. So it is really, really good that it gives me that option to go in and start typing extra information if it's left out something or if I need to edit it. So the next stage now is the most important, and this is where we get to generate our sitemap. So when I click here on generate sitemap, you're going to notice that the AI is going to generate all these pages for us over here. Now, this is something that all the other AIs don't do for us. So what you find is they have the AI integrated to, into uh, each and every section or each module. But in terms of creating the sitemap, well, that is not really there at all. So look at this. This is really, really amazing. So you can see now it has created all these pages for me. It has uh, the About Us page. It has the services, case studies, blog, contact, lead generation, sales optimization, digital marketing. So all these pages, the AI has calculated or decided that these are the pages that need to be on my agency website. Now let's take a look and see what else is here. So you notice that we also have all these sections here. We have the hero, the about, the services, the services list, and so on. Now, you may be asking, how do we get to see this? Because this is just a pretty much an outline. Well, there's a special button here called wireframe, and this is where everything gets exciting. So with the wireframe now, I can actually have an idea of what the pages are going to look like in terms of the content that needs to go on these pages. So if you take a look here, we are going to have an image here in the background. And when we scroll down here, you see that we have our tailored strategies for growth. We also have all these different sections already done for us. Now, what I like about this is I can go in and change the section colors. So, so far we have the same color over here. So I can actually go in here. Now you notice that this brings another layout on the side here. So I wanna give this a very light background color like that so that I can distinguish all my sections. So again, I'm gonna go down Maybe this one here needs an update, but this time I am going to choose a totally different layout. So this is a services list. So what we have here is um, the text here, a description, and also, you know, the services. So I can choose maybe this layout here, and this automatically updates. Now, what I also want to do is to give this a light color for the background, because at the moment we have this one here in white, so we don't want to have everything white. So let's further scroll down here and see uh, if this is the kind of layout we need. So I think that's fine. The testimonials are fine as well, but for our dedicated team, I don't really like these circles here, so I need to change that. But before I do that, I need to also give this a background color, a light background color like that. So now when we scroll further down, I can go in and change the layout for this uh, marketing team. So with that selected now, I'm now going to choose the layout I really like. So I think I'm gonna go with this one here. So let's go ahead and select it. Okay, great, now that's updated. And we also have our FAQ section. So again, I'm gonna come in here 
and change the color to a light uh, lighter background. And this here is our call to action. So what we could do here is we could change this and make it dark so it really stands out. So again, with that selected, I can now come in here and choose a dark color like that. So this is pretty cool. I think I like the way uh, this page is looking so far. So remember, we are in the in the wireframe view. So this is where we just get to do small tweaks before we go to the next stage where we get to add all our images. But here's the most interesting part. If we wanted to add or subtract information on this, now let's say you wanted to add another section here. It's very easy. All you have to do is to click on this plus button. Now we have all these uh, options here for our sections. So I can click on statistics for example, and then I can choose the type of statistic that I want to add. So let's say I want to go with this one here. I can go ahead and select it. And then now it's asking for our AI. So now I'm going to say improve using AI, or I can just click on add. So at any stage, if I want to go in and uh, change this, I can just come over here, change it around. But if I don't need it, I can just come over here and delete it, or I can duplicate it, or I can go in and refresh this. So now I'm just going to go in and delete it and then delete. So now that we've seen how to create this page, let's head over here to our sitemap and start creating even more pages. So the beauty with this is I can go to each and every page and go through the same process to design what the layout of my website is going to look like. So now we're on the about us. So it says generate page or add section. So for now to save me time, I'm going to generate the page and see what it looks like. So you can see here something is happening behind the scenes. And sure enough, we have quite a few content. So if again, if I want to see what this page looks like, all I have to do is to come to the wireframe. So now we have the about us here. So we have about Mac marketing. We also have all our sections here and some of them are uh, loading up right now as we speak. So what I'm going to do is maybe give this again a little bit of a background color. In fact, we might even make it dark for the section here to stand out. And then we scroll down here. We can give this a light background, similar to what I was doing before, because we really want this to look nice and easy to read. So for the team here, I'm going to go with a light background so we can change things around a little bit. Okay, so that looks great. I'm happy with that. So it's time now to move to the next part. So this is also drag, is also draggable. So I can just click and drag and I can see the rest of my pages here. And again, I have uh, the similar options where I can add a section or I can generate the complete page. So this time around, um, I can click on add a section and this goes through this whole list. But what I found is, it takes longer for me to add section by section, but the beauty is all the options are there for you. So in my case, I just generate all the pages, and then if I need to add a section, I can just add it by coming over here to the right and adding all the, the sections. Okay, so again, like I did before, I'm going to click here on generate page. I'm also going to do the same on uh, the lead generation page here, sales optimization. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is I'm curious to see what sort of content our AI is going to build for these pages. So I'm going to generate here as well. And as I mentioned before, I can come back over here to the sign map and I can do the page generations from here as well. So the case studies, generate page. I'm going to do the same on the blog, do the same on the contact us. So it looks like all our pages are now created. That's fantastic. Now let's head over to the wireframe. So over here, I'm just gonna drag around. And by the way, if uh, there's too much information here, you can come over here and um, reduce uh, everything so you can see all the pages. So here I can see we have our sales marketing page header, lead generation. So at any point you can go in here and change any information. So like I said, I like all my page titles here to be dark. So I can go in and add my dark color like that. I can do the same for my lead generation here. Add a dark color. Sales optimization. So this is just so that, you know, all the pages are uniform. 
and um, there's also consistency. Okay. And notice that we also have options here for our page title uh, layout. So you can choose whatever page title you want here. And the beauty as well is if you hover over it, it also gives you an idea of what it's going to look like. You see? So I'm going to keep things as they are. Choose my color. So I'm going to do this to the rest of the pages. Now, what I've noticed here on the Contact uh, Us page is we're missing the form. So I'm going to click here and go to my form. And I'm going to go with this basic form here. Okay, so you can see my form has been added. I also want to add a light background to this so that it also stands out. All right, so that's looking great. I'm now happy to move on to the next stage. So as you can see, the process that I've gone through does not exist in the uh, page builders that we have out there on the market right now. We've started off with the sitemap. We've also gone into the wireframe. So this to me is a fantastic way of building websites. And so far I've been, integrate, I've been interacting with the AI pretty much all the time. Okay, so let's move on to the next stage. So now we want to come over here now and create the actual website. So I'm gonna click here on create website. Okay, so it's now telling me the website is just a step away. <laughs> That's pretty cool and good to know. I'm now going to click on start building. So this could take a, a bit of time because there are quite a few pages here and there's also quite a lot of content that need to go on the pages. But the fact that I can bring this together all with AI from, oops, you know what? <laughs> you missed that, guys. This now is the site. It's complete. It's telling me it's ready. So I can't wait to see what this is going to look like. So let's go ahead and click on view your website. But what I was saying before this was I got distracted. I was saying it's amazing how we started off with the company name, the company description, and this hasn't even taken me an hour and I have an outline of my website and now I'm just about to view what the website looks like. All right, so over here, let's click on view the site. So this looks really nice. I like the fact that my light background that I added earlier on is now over here as well, which is good. So this makes it easier for me to distinguish uh, what's um, behind here when it comes to the sections. I can tell where the section ends and starts. You can see it clearly over here. This is really nice. So this has a white background. This is a dark background. Okay, so we can now upload our logo. Unfortunately, I don't have a logo to upload right away, but this is pretty cool that we can just go in and Add our logo. Now let's head over here to the color palette. So I'm not sure which one it's using here. So let's say I go with default. I'm not sure if you've noticed that, but this subtle change, this background color here has changed. So if I come over to this one here, you can see that has changed as well. Now, while I was doing that, I noticed that this color here is also being applied. You see that? It's also being applied here on the top. And I think this is really, really nice, okay? Pretty cool. I like the way that the background and these uh, lines over here is looking. And I'm pretty sure that this is going to be applied across the whole website. Look at that. I think this is fantastic. I'm going to go with this color palette. Next, we also have the ability to choose our font pair. So I can click on here and you can see right away that this has updated. I think I'm going to go with this. I really like that. So, so far, I can now go ahead and click on save. Now, do you notice that this is a process where I started off uh, with all my different stages. Now, I'm on the stage where I'm choosing my colors, my fonts. So, I really like this process here. And this is how AI is supposed to uh, work. Okay, so uh, as I'm scrolling through this, you can see that this is pretty much a complete website. Fantastic. Okay. I'm now curious to see what we have here on the other pages. What do we have with the lead generation? Look at that. So now my headings have this prominent blue color. And when I scroll down here, you can see that we have all the text that goes with it. So I know I'm scrolling through this pretty fast. But the most important thing now is what does... 
this say in terms of the copy that is added on my website? Does the copy work with the type of website? So this is where we get to test the AI. So let's take a look here. So this is our lead generation page. It's saying, uh, Mac Marketing in London empowers business with personalized solutions to unlock their full potential tailored to individual needs and goals. That's pretty accurate. It also goes on to say dedicated experts ensure client success and satisfaction. Uh, okay, that's pretty cool. So here it's emphasizing that this is a London-based business, which is okay. Now let's try other pages. So let's go to sales optimization. Again here, tailored approach, marketing boost, tech solutions. Yeah, I like this. Implement cutting edge technology solutions for optimized sales performance, elevate your business efficiency. Now, I know this may sound like it's quite generic. I would say use this as a starting point. So you want to make this in your own words, but at least this gives us a very, very good starting point for us to then add or subtract uh, content onto our website. So moving on, also says boost your sales with us. Okay, I would say pretty much this is not too bad in terms of the copy that's been added on these pages. So we also have our case studies page. Okay, so I can see here we have quite a repeat of these same sections. This is something that I may go in and change and I'm gonna show you how to go in and change them. So let's say I wanna work on this case studies page. I can just click on edit page. You may not have noticed this, but we also have a design library. Let's click here and see what we have. So notice that we have further sections here that we can use on our designs. I really like this. So we can drill them down by going to page header, for example, and this will show us our page titles. We have our features, we have um, contact form. So pretty much everything that we had when we were going through our stage for our wireframe is also here. Just in case we may have messed up before, now we have the opportunity to go in and also add them. So when I come over here, you notice that we have our color styles here. So this is our color style. We can even go dark mode and choose these colors. So this is really, really good. I'm gonna close out of here and uh, choose a particular section that I want to change go to our design library and let's say I want to add, let's say I want a totally different services uh, option. I'm going to go with this one here, click on insert. I'm going to say get started. So what is happening now is ZipWP is connecting with my website. So I'm going to go ahead and click on continue. So this section has been added all the way at the bottom here, but no problem because we can always drag it to wherever we want by coming over here. So I know it's this one. So let's drag it all the way up. So at any point, if you decide you wanted to uh, use the AI as well to fine tune your content on your pages, this is where things get really exciting. There is also an integration for AI within uh, the builder. So let me show you. If you come over here to the top, you can click on this little icon here, and then it says AI Assistant. Okay. So here you can paste from clipboard, you can write an attractive uh, header, you can do quite a few here. So it is there if you need it. And also over here, if you want to do, uh, use the AI, I can click here on Ask AI and I can fix the grammar, rephrase and so on. So let's say I want to fix the grammar here. So as you can see here, the AI is embedded. So I can just click here and this will update it. Now, if I wanted to uh, perhaps maybe rewrite this, I can come in here, rephrase it. I can choose something else if I need to as well. And this gives me even more options here. So I can change the tone, I can translate, I can make it shorter. So there's many, many options. And I really like the fact that this integration into um, uh, the page builder is really fantastic. Now the question is, what page builder are we using for all this? Because it seems so seamless. Well, in order for us to see that, let's head over back to WordPress here. In fact, let me update this before I do that. And over here, you're going to notice that we have two products. We have Astra and we also have Spectra. Now you may have not noticed this, but Astra and Spectra, these are absolutely free. But of course, if you want some advanced features, this is where you can upgrade to uh, the paid options. But so far, we were able to go in here and make uh, our website and it's complete, ready to go. So if I go to 
Astra and I go to um, the welcome screen, there's a few things that we can do here. We can, uh, you can see uh, Spectre here has been activated. We can also add show forms, uh, press to player and so on. So there's quite a few things that we can, you know, add over here. Now, this is now the list of the pro version. So the color and background, typography and so on. But there are also a few things that we can go in and update. So let's go to customize. So for example, let's go to our global typography and let's say i want my body fonts to be a specific font and uh, i want to change this to poppins i can just come over here and choose my font like that and that has been updated i can see it over here and i can also increase my size 17 but you can go in and customize this now you can see how clean and neat this is i really love this Okay, so we can do this with the fonts. You can go in and change the heading fonts, the header ones, and so on. So there's quite a lot to go in and customize over here. I'm going to hit publish. So again, this is our color palette. We can go in and customize these colors if we want to change them. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go in, change our colors, not colors, change our images on our websites. So uh, I'm going to come back to my pages, and we are going to start with the main page. So I'm going to go to all pages and let's go to the home page. Here it is. Click on edit. So for my images, I went to uh, this website. It's called pexels.com and I downloaded some images and they are all on my uh, computer. So let's go ahead and add our images so our site can start looking like a digital marketing agency. Okay, so I'm going to click over here now and go to style because I can see that this is where my image has been added. I'm gonna click on change image. So as I mentioned, my images are in my downloads folder. So I'm gonna click on upload files. I'm gonna select them here and I'm just gonna highlight all my images and open them. So at this stage, it's up to you what images you want to add. So you could go with something maybe with statistics or you want to have maybe people in the background. So this is an experimentation uh, stage where you can just check and see what works better. So right now I have this one here. I'm going to click on select. So let's first of all see what it looks like. Now, I don't like this. It looks too busy. So I would want to go in and change this. So I'm going to go back, change image. And maybe let's try this one here. So that looks much better. And I think this looks, um, yeah, quite professional. So we're going to scroll further down here. And this is where you can go in and, again, change all your images that you don't need. Because these, remember, they were used as placeholder images. So I'm going to select this one here. Great. So that's looking much, much better now. Okay, lead generation. Let's go with this one. Business success. Let's go with, um, this time we want to have people here. So let's go with uh, maybe this one. How about that? Now, the cool thing about this is we can go in and also, um, so let's go further down. Do we have other places where we need to add an image? And sure enough, we have this area here. So we're going to click in here, go to style. Oops, we need to go to general change image and we are going to go with this one in fact let's go with this one here i think that's better i'm gonna hit select definitely that works great because this one here is about why choose uh, mac marketing for success and then over here if i wanted to i can go in and start adding all my images you can see here the image is very easy to update you can just go in and update it over here and the same thing applies. We can go in and just add our images here. Now let's click on update and let's view the page. So we started off with uh, basic images, which were there as placeholders. Now I like that idea because sometimes as new beginners, you know, when they go into uh, a wireframe mode, they get stuck on the idea that if there's images for plumbing, then those are the images that need to be used. But because we started off with nature images, pretty much it's a very good starting point, which have to be... Um, updated by adding your actual images. So let's take a look at this page now. So when I scroll down here, you can see that, you know, it's clean. It's, um, it's just much, much better now because just by adding those images, I was able now to make it look like a design agency type website.
and the colors are also really nice. The images here also work. And I think this is fantastic. All right, great. So on uh, the other pages here, we just need to go in and do the same, add all our images. And within a very short time, you are going to have a complete website that was built using AI. So this, in my opinion, is the future of web design. So I will highly recommend that you start exploring ways of designing your websites this way. And also I have a link in the video description below where you can go in and pretty much sign up for ZipWP. So the team behind ZipWP have been out there for a long time. So I would highly recommend that you invest with ZipWP because if you sign up for the lifetime uh, license, this could be your tool for designing uh, websites as an agency. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.